There was once an obscure yet eccentric prince named Leonardo who lived in a far, far, far off land in a beautiful kingdom. As things were, the kingdom's riches did not belong to Leonardo, but riches were not on young Leonardo's mind. It was true love for which he pined. Meanwhile, in a land far from Leonardo's far, far, far off land, but nearer, there lived a beautiful princess warrior named Bettina. She lived in the most charming kingdom in a province called the Catskills. With the passing of the king, there was much strife and conflict in her land, but the beautiful Bettina had a plan. She knew her castle was the best, but finding her true love was her only quest. Back in the far, far, far off land, Prince Leonardo chooses love as his first journey. With just a song in his heart, a few provisions and some money, he set off for a nearer far land to find his honey. Fly to the land of oranges and disco, Leonardo proclaimed. Where, asked his friends? I don't know, but I must go. Leonardo smiled. And what better disguise with a song in your heart than a travelling musician, but not with a harp, a piano. A princess must love the piano. Prince Leonardo found a sage and inquired, where can princesses be found? The sage explained, in a land called the Catskills, princesses abound. Walk to the Catskills? The sage was asked. That you just might, but I would take a flight. Once in the kingdom of the Catskills, Leonardo began to travel and play. His true love was waiting. He knew it one day. And as things are, his talent grew and Leonardo delighted the kingdom with his music. Until one day, it would all come true. Love, that is. Remember Bettina from earlier in the story? Well, she found Leonardo, her love and glory. They were so in love that they were swept away and so they were married the very next day. Well, maybe not the next next day, but soon thereafter. So with love found, Leonardo and Bettina began to build a new kingdom. We will search the world over, said they. And during their travels, as things are, the future unfolded with bright new stars. Born to them was the perfect and complex Natasha, then the beautiful and intriguing Tatiana, and lastly, the little Prince Daniel. With family at side and a song still in his heart, Leonardo came to understand that his kingdom was patiently waiting in the far, far off land. So taking his rightful place in the kingdom of his home, Leonardo the Prince decided to take the throne. And are they living happily ever after? King and Queen Farkas, without any fear, are growing their kingdom year by year. No, it's not a fairy tale, my friend. It's a very true love story that will never end.